message is titled, Who You Are To Me. Um, this came, I don't, I don't even know how, because I, I find it hard to find the title of a message, because I think that when I have the title, then I'll be able to let it flow more. But I think it just in passing the Holy Spirit, no, it was a song, something to do with who you are. Yeah, that's how I got it. Okay, yeah. So I've said, depending on what you've gone through in life, your understanding on the different dimensions of God will change. So we, we, some, we know certain things. For example, when we say um, El Shaddai or we call him Emmanuel and all these different things, it's like, okay, um, I know Emmanuel means God is with us. So if there's been a, a situation where you know you can feel God's presence, and hopefully everyone's been able to feel that, if not today, but at another time, when you know that God's presence is really with you, then you are able to cry out to him and call him Emmanuel. Um, so some of the, the little headings that I've put is the lion, which can be shown as God's wrath or God's um, discipline on you. The lamb, the lamb being Jesus Christ or the comforter that he brings to you as he is your mediator. As Jesus has now, been, has now reconciled us, um, our relationship with God. As I was reading Romans this morning and it told me, well, the spirit spoke to me and said, that I'm sure we've all kind of heard the scripture where it's saying that Adam create was the reason for the fall of man and for sin reigned because of Adam. But then Jesus came and he made everything great. He made us have made us be able to have a relationship with God again because of the love that God had. When we were his enemies, he still said, Do you know what, I know that there are people there that, that love me, I love them, so let me bring them back to me. And he gave us Jesus, and now he is our mediator, glory to God. Um, another one that I know God as is a righteous judge. I said that God is kind, however he is just. Yes, we have favor, and it is never ending because of his love, but God is forever just. I think this is something that people forget, that, okay, um, you hear um, God is love, God is kind. However, he has his limits. So with a, with a person, you can go to someone and possibly ask them for a favor a couple of times and they let it go. And then when it gets to a point, you're kind of like, well, you're kind of taking the mick with it. You, you keep on asking me for this thing. Like, when is it going to get into your mind where you can do it yourself? So God is also like this. If you, for example, sin and you go, for him, go to him for forgiveness, by his grace, yes, you will, forgive to, for, he will be forgiven, sorry. Um, you cry out to him and he says, yes, I can see your heart, you can be forgiven. But if you keep on doing this, it kind of get, it gets to the point with God and he's like, hmm, should I really forgive you? Is this sincere? Do you really know the meaning of this blood anymore or are you just taking it, advantage of it? Yeah. So, Amen. If we could turn to Romans 4.23. Romans 4.23. And when God counted him as righteous, it, was, it wasn't just for Abraham's benefit. It was it was, sorry, it was recorded for our benefit too, assuring us that God will also count us as righteous if we believe in him. The one who raised Jesus from the dead, he was handed over to die because of our sins and he has raised to life to make us right with God. This also goes back to um, what I was speaking about with Jesus, how he is the lamb and how he was brought to us. And this, I think it ministered to me because as it said throughout, like throughout the start of Romans that Abraham wasn't so favored by God and wasn't called someone that had faith because of his deeds or because he had obeyed the law. It was because of the faith inside of him. And who God is to me is someone that brings me love, brings me hope, and brings me faith. Yes, it said that Abraham was someone that had faith when all, um, hope, sorry, hope when all hope was gone. This made me like bring a tear to my eye because something has recently happened to me that has shaken my faith to the point where I'm like, really, God, how can this happen to me? But I know that He is forever there, and that is also something that I want to encourage you guys with that 
hope is who he is. That is one dimension of who God is. He is your hope. He will always be there. Even when you're like, no, there's, there's not even any point anymore. God is still definitely there and he will forever be there. So I, def I give him glory and I thank him for teaching me these different dimensions because you should never box God into something small or to thinking that he's limited because he's not. We call him omnis omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent. What do these things really mean? All powerful, all present, all knowing, all loving. He, 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 Jesus, God, he's everything. He is your all. We say he is the I am because he is not in the past, he is not in the future, he is now and he is always. So this is also who he is. You see, these different dimensions, they come together and show you, it's mind-blowing. What pastor told me as, um, part told us, sorry, that we are like a grain of sand to God. I was like, wow. <laughs> so if we are a grain of sand, then what am I? But it doesn't even matter because it's who he is to me. One thing that stuck in my mind is that our walk with Christianity is not us finding God, but it's God saying, come back to me because I am the one that created you and you were created to serve me. I will do what you, I no, so he will bring us what we need, but come back to me so that you can have love. And something as simple as that is something that the world really needs to know because there's, a lot that's going in this going on in this world and especially with the younger generation that I am thankful that I can be a platform to others to also share with them what God is to me, who he is, or something will be something hopefully that they will know. So um I give God the glory and I pray I hope that something has been shown to you guys. Glory to God and be blessed.